so yeah hi guys and uh, in this particular video we will see like what are the top uh, tips which you can use to boost up your python skills and uh, like uh, all these tips uh, are basically used in production code when you are writing some kind of production code and uh, it's a kind of advanced python stuff and uh, which no one tells on youtube basically and maybe like there are channel but i haven't found any these kind of content yet so this was this is a very important video which you if you want to like become a extreme python if you want to improve your python skill do use you those do use all these skills to like write your code But because like when you use this uh, like uh, skills in you can say when writing code a lot of things like changes your first of all like uh, your code reduces and the uh, memory size of your uh, code also reduces that's a very important thing because like when you are working on some very big or scalable application uh, you need to like write each and every thing line of code that can save something okay uh, in order to survive in a like good good product based company so let's start this particular thing and in the in let's let's take an example let's suppose you want to store hundreds of image in a list what you are going to do is uh, like you can pause this particular video and think it off how you can how you are able to figure this out so like uh, i know like you will be amazed that uh, if if you want to store uh, hundreds of images in a list basically we will be using da list data structure to store all these things or, or you can say all these images but no uh, we can use kinds of generator to help you in this way so let's take if you use list what will happen and if you use you can say generator then what will basically happen so let's uh, like write a code so let's suppose uh, there is a list one and we need to like store hundreds of images so we can do this thing i in i into i into 100 for i in range of 100 okay so this is gonna like create uh, let's suppose uh, hundreds of uh, array and uh, we are gonna do this and uh, let's suppose we do do this in form of generator so for to use generator we what we do we use like this kind of parenthesis and uh, let's do i uh, i into into 100 for i in range of 100 okay and uh, like uh, uh, like let's uh, like see what's the size difference so let's import sys import uh, sys and uh, let's find out the size so let's suppose let's print the size of sys dot get size of lst and after that let's print uh, sys dot get size of lst one and let's see what's the difference so you will see a drastic difference that is in list one list and generator okay so let's execute this line of code and you can say the storage like this is consuming 920 okay and the size of this is 104 so you can see if you want to store a lot of data you can use generator to instead of list that will basically improve your the, like uh, where like the size of the uh, uh, generator is totally reduced so yeah thanks relevel for sponsoring this video and relevel india ka first hiring platform hai jahan pe aapko ek dream job le sakte ho and purely on the basis of your skills and main aapko relevel ke bare mein kafi sari videos mein bata chuka hu and concept bahut hi zyada simple hai ek free test do and apne aapko skills ko prove karo and yatri misho credit jaisi companies 200 plus companies mein job le sakte ho na hi koi experience na hi koi degree bas zarurat hai to sirf aapki skills ke and april ke months mein hi har din like 36 lakh worth ke job deliver kar rahe hain entry level mein and inhi mein se ek candidate ki kahani main aapko ek aur baat batana chahunga and mujhe ye cheez re level ke taraf se pata chali and ye story hai that is all about tanishk singh and inka inka jaldi hi mein abhi cred mein job lagi hai and ye abhi college ke final year complete kar rahe hain already inka placement ho chuka hai but apne unke like ambition sunoge that will like like extreme level ke, like ambitions and ke and uh, in se pucha gaya like uh, aapko foreign ki 
स्पेस एक्सप्लोरेशन जैसी कंपनीज में क्यों काम करना है सो लाइक द रिप्लाई वॉज टोटली इन सेन एंड ही सेट लाइक आई वॉन्ट आई वॉन्ट माई कोड टू रन ऑन अ डिफरेंट प्लानट मतलब इस तरीके के लाइक एम्बिशन है उनकी एंड थिंकिंग दिखती है उनकी तनिश की एंड तनिश हमेशा से ही कि सॉफ्टवेयर एक डेवलपर या फिर उसकी डिग्री परस्यू करना चाहते थे बट बचपन में ही उन्होंने वेब डेवलपमेंट के बारे में बहुत ज़्यादा एक्सपेरिमेंट करना चालू कर दिया था उन्होंने स्ट्रीम में काफ़ी ज़्यादा मेहनत करी एंड उसके साथ ही साथ में री लेवल के टेस्ट उन्होंने अपने स्किल्स दिखाने के लिए परफेक्टली अपॉर्चुनिटी भी मिल गई थी एंड आप भी इनकी तरह अपना करियर लाइक चूज़ कर सकते हो तनिश की तरह एंड री लेवल ने अभी तक फोर्टी टू करोड़ के वर्थ जॉब डिलीवर करे हैं ओवर इंडिया एंड लास्ट मंथ ही थर्टी सिक्स वर्थ के जॉब डिलीवर हुए हैं एंड एंड इनमें से बहुत सारे कैंडिडेट्स की होल्डिंग्स बोर्डिंग्स अपने कई जगह अक्रॉस इंडिया में देखे होंगे एंड कुछ दोनों पहले ही री लेवल के नए पाँच नए टेस्ट इंट्रोड्यूस हुए हैं लाइक कैटेगरीज लाइक प्रोजेक्ट एसोसिएट इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग ग्राफिक डिजाइनिंग मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग और फाइनेंस जैसे एंड अब आपके पास एटीन डिग्रीज में टेस्ट दे सकते हो देने का मौका है एंड आप वर्क कर सकते हो लाइक बिजनेस डेवलपमेंट में वेब डेवलपमेंट में ह्यूमन रिसोर्स में प्रोडक्ट प्रोडक्ट मैनेजमेंट एंड और भी बहुत ज़्यादा कुछ मतलब नए टेस्ट क्वालिफाई करने के बहुत ज़्यादा बेटर चांसेस हैं एंड ये कैरियर चेंजिंग अपॉर्चुनिटी है एंड आप भी जा कर के आज ही अपना फ्री टेस्ट रजिस्टर कर लो एंड टेस्ट का जो लिंक है वो आपको डिस्क्रिप्शन में मिल जाएगा एंड जो टॉप कैंडिडेट्स हैं उनको एप्पल के प्रोडक्ट भी मिलते हैं प्राइस में तो ये आपको डेफिनेटली मेंशन करना चाहिए अपनी चीज़ को एंड चेक आउट री लेवल टूडे लिंक आपको डिस्क्रिप्शन में मिल जाएगा लेट्स कम टू द सेकेंड टिप दैट इज कॉल्ड टाइप प्रिंटिंग इन पाइथन वॉट इट रियली मीन्स लेट मी शो यू एन एग्जाम्पल लेट सपोज यू हैव रिटर्न अ फंक्शन दैट एट टू वैल्यूज एक्स एंड वाई एंड इट जस्ट रिटर्न दैट particular thing x plus of y and uh, like when you pass something it like it it won't throw any error and you won't be able to understand like it's returning an integer value or it's returning an uh, string value or float value so what we can do is when you write any function always do type hinting that's very important when uh, like uh, when some 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 like uh, senior developer sees your code a lot of people don't do because uh, like uh, on youtube no one teaches that thing so it's very important to do type hinting in python so what we are going to do here, x is what at x is a like integer thing so we can write x colon int and for y we can do int and also like when you are doing this thing so we can do it so it's totally correct that it's going to return a integer value so let's suppose we do add let's suppose we add 5 plus of 6 and uh, let's print this also print and let's see what it really happens so the next thing next tip which i want to tell you is that when you like uh, initialize a list let's suppose we want a list to have like uh, uh, hundreds of values uh, any random values we can like add so what majority of people do is they do like list is equal to empty list then let they what they do is for i e in range of that's uh, like let's suppose we want to add 100 elements so we can do this and lst dot append of zero so what it will do it will append zero 100 zeros to this thing so like this is not feasible way and uh, a lot of people what they they will use like list comprehension as well so what way what they are going to do is uh, lst dot append of zero and uh, for i in range of 100 so this is this is a second way but what basically you can do is so let's take an example of lst1 uh, lst1 is equal to this one and append it so let's take an example of lst2 and uh, we can do like this all zero we want to like add it to 100 so we can do this so this is a, like one of the more efficient way like it, like you can see the uh, lines of code how much it reduces so let's print this all this thing so let's print lst then let's print uh, lst of 1 okay and then print lst of 2 and let's run this and you can see all of them are printing hundreds time zero and okay so now you got an idea when you initialize an list you can the use this method which is very shorter way okay so the next step is very important when you are dealing some like a uh, financial application when you are building some financial application in django or flask any kind of application uh, what you need to do is you need to deal with a lot of big numbers and uh, 
basically in python you can use one one tip that's called let's suppose we want to store the number that is very big okay so one these terms are zero okay so what we are not able to understand how many zeros we have added so what we can do is we can like add underscore to every zero which will help you to like uh, learn that what zeros are okay so now you can do we have pair of two zero two zero two zero two zero uh one two three four five six six into uh two is equal to twelve and we have fourteen zeros and now if we will print this number and eventually you will see we won't be printing that underscore so it's very important if you are dealing with like if you are creating some financial application if you are creating some other application you can use this python tip that's very important and uh, it improves your code readability as well okay let's come let's come to the next step so in this like uh, tip we will learn how we can unpack values in python so let's suppose we have uh, like a list that is like uh, one two three and four and five and six okay so we want to unpack the values and we have only two variable and we want like we want to unpack this one to assign one to a and then two three four five six to b so we cannot do basically this in python if you don't know this step uh if we will like print a comma b so it will like throw an error too many values to unpack okay so what we want is we want to like assign one to a then the rest of values to b so we want to assign uh, b, uh, two three four five six so what you can do is how you don't if you don't know this tip you are like gone so what you can do is you can add an asterisk which will uh this one will assign to a and the rest of the list will go to b so we can execute this thing so you can see uh one is assigned to this and rest of the list is assigned to this b so you can use asterisk to like unpack values in python it's very important okay and also if you want to unpack all the values what you can do is you can asterisk of a and uh, it will unpack all the values like one two three four five six it will unpack all the values if you want to unpack all the values from the list you can do this thing as well okay so basically in this step we will see what is the difference between is and double equal to uh like a lot of interviewer directly ask what's the difference between is and double equal to and a lot of people are not able to answer so let's see so first of all we will do a like print a is b and then we will do print a equal equal to b so let's check uh, let's run this program and see what's the output so in the first the first is like false and second one is true so now is like when both of these are at a same memory location okay then is will return it it compares the memory location whether these or both of them are at the same memory location or not so if both of them are at same memory location that means is will return true and double equal to checks whether the values of both the things are same or not so let me uh, print the like a memory location as well id of a comma id of b so okay id of a comma id of b so now once we will run the program and you will see like the ids are differentiating it has like uh, the a is stored on 696 and uh, like the uh, b is stored on double zero eight so the difference is once like both of them like are at the same memory location is will return true and e double equal to returns true if both are both have seen the same value so let's suppose i see equal to a then if i will do like you can say this thing if a is c then it will return true because a and c both are at the same memory location okay so this tip is all about merging two dictionaries so basically if we want to merge two dictionary what we do is we do like this uh we pass a then uh, we can add a comma then we pass b okay so once we run this program you can see the both the dictionaries are merged now but what if we want to uh, we can use pipe operation to merge these dictionary we can do something like this print uh, a pipe of b sorry pipe a pipe of b okay this will also merges the 
dictionary you can see this thing so if you want to merge to this uh, to dictionary you can use pipe operation to merge all both the dictionaries okay so yeah these were the some python tips which you can use to improve your coding logic and this was it for the video and i hope you people have enjoyed the video and if this video has helped you in any way do subscribe to the channel and give it a thumbs up and meet in the next video goodbye and thank you